Here it is. The first pool. Crispell, why don't you collect a sample for Rojo? But be careful. The pool may react to you. Okay. It's the orphanage in Nareen. Empty and abandoned after some disaster. The pools seem to be reflecting your sight. For once, we can all see what you see. I remember seeing this before. This was my first real vision. I was so scared and confused. Hey, this future's not gonna happen. I promise. You are likely to see more visions as you visit the other pools. Have you finished collecting the sample? Oh, yes. I've bottled up some of the mineral water. On to the next one, then. That statue has been sitting there for as long as I can remember. I think it may be another one of the witnesses. But I've never seen it move. He looks so f f f f f familiar Oh, I wish, wish I could remember. Well, perhaps it will start moving soon. Stranger things have happened on this journey of ours. I doubt it, but I suppose anything is possible.
We've arrived at another pool. Be careful, Chris Bell. Here I go. I see two strange people talking to each other. Oh, look, my, 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 my children. Your children? You mean those people in the white coats? Who are they? Hmm. Dearie me. Those are r r r r researchers, I th 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 think. I'm sorry, sweet, sweet, sweetie. My mind isn't what it used to be. I'm so confused. I think we all are. But she doesn't seem to remember anymore. Well, we have collected the mineral water. Let us move on to the next pool.
is this? It looks like two monsters fighting. How bizarre. Why would you... I don't know. What a strange vision. I guess we shouldn't worry about it for now. I finished collecting the mineral water. Then let us move on to the next pool. Chris Bell, what do you want to do? I want to record our pool.
The pilgrimage is sacred, Crispel. We should do everything in proper order. Who is that? A hero of legend. Oh, I've heard of this one. He is one of the warriors who died fending off the Empress. I think he was the one who was supposed to have struck the final blow. He lost his life in the exchange. Old legends. Nothing more. Have you collected the mineral water yet, Crispel? Yes, Maestro. I have it. Let's go then. There's still one more palm to visit. And it is by far the most potent. Flowing with magical power. The flower grows very slowly, but it's actually older than me. <laughs> like that saying much. No one asked for your opinion, Lunch for Brains. That will be enough, both of you. We are here to collect the mineral water. On to the last pool. going to see a vision this time? I wonder... Oh, um, I'm starting to feel faint. Crispel, are you alright? I think another vision is coming. And this time, it's much, much stronger than the others. The destruction of the entire world. Explosions everywhere. Hundreds of thousands dead. And at the center of it all, the Time Empress. Did someone just call my name? You. It can't be. What are you doing here? It seems my timing is impeccable as always. But relax. I'm not here for you, Lot. I'm here for the flower. I don't know what you're planning to do with that flower, but... We've seen your evil plan, and we're going to stop you right here! Stop me? But I haven't even gotten started yet, my dear girl. Well, I suppose this will give me a good opportunity to see how you're coming along. Do try and at least entertain me for a bit. We're about to kick your butt!
Interesting. Playtime is over, children. not over but of course it's not this was so fun let's do it again shall we to kick your butt no stop you don't remember but we already lost oh it seems like one of you has some decent time power with it but you can't stop it darlings oh no we need a miracle to save us <laughs> I should just carry on and retrieve the flower then. What just happened? We barely escaped alive. That statue saved us. I am not a statue. However, you are otherwise correct. I used my maximum acceleration to remove you from danger. And thank goodness you did! I was afraid we were done for. Not to be ungrateful, but who are you? What are you? I am JKR, unit number 721. One of the witnesses. JKR 721? That's quite a mouthful. How about I just call you K for short? K? Where'd you get that from? What? I think it's pretty normal to use someone's middle name as a nickname. Well, I guess I can't argue with that. You may address me however you prefer. Well, thank you very much for saving us, Mr. K. We're all pretty beat up. We need somewhere safe to rest. Let's head to Paulina and regroup. Seems like you can use the shoe here. Do you want to use it? Sure. Do you want to land here, Chris Bell? Yes. Darlings, just look at your clothes. Something dreadful must have happened. You don't know the half of it, Miss Paulina. Do you mind if we rest here for a while? Of course, of course. Make yourself at home. We should be safe here for a while. Thank you again, Mr. K. I don't know what we would have done if you hadn't saved us. The action was consistent with my nature. How do you mean? I am not entirely sure. The relevant entries appear to be missing from my memory banks. You're one of those witnesses, right? Do you know Paulina and Buki? Buki? Oh, oh, right. That, that's, that's me. me, me. <laughs> I do detect something familiar about them. But I cannot recall our specific relationship. Me neither. Although there's at least one thing we know for sure. I was definitely not your stylist. Although I wouldn't mind finding out who was. While I appreciate all the catching up, I think we should allow Chris Bell and her friends to sleep. Thanks, Matthias. Uh, we'll resume in the morning. All 
right, that's enough rest. We still need to get those mineral samples to Mr. Rojo at the cathedral. If that is where you are headed, then I shall accompany you. Great! I knew we could count on you, Kay. What exactly makes you want to follow us around? I have unfortunately lost the data that was supposed to be stored in my memory banks. I will need to begin accumulating replacement knowledge about the world as I search for the cause. I am certain I was created with a purpose. I wish to discover what it was. So, you want to find out more about who you are and why you lost your memories? I suppose that makes sense. Just try not to get in our way. There is no need to worry. I have significant combat capabilities. Have a safe trip, my darlings. Feel free to come back anytime. What are they doing here? They must have found their way here from deeper in the mines. This will serve as a good opportunity for me to demonstrate my capabilities. My style of combat is different than that of a typical human. My body is constantly being supplied with crystal energy, so I do not use mana. I have great speed and stamina, allowing me to strike many times whenever I attack an enemy. However, whenever I attack or use a skill, my heat level rises. As it rises, I become stronger, but there is also a risk of overheating my systems. Let us proceed to a demonstration. Press the button each time I begin to glow to trigger additional attacks. You did well. Whenever I attack or use a skill, my heat level rises. As it rises, I become strong. I also possess the ability by using my juggle skill, I can move this enemy to the other side of the battle. Let me demonstrate my impact strikes. For this attack, press the button repeatedly. Try to keep the indicator in the yellow area for maximum damage. Now, let us finish disposing of these errant monsters. good as your word. It's nice to see that someone around here is. How long do you think the repairs will take? Hmm. I don't imagine it should be too long. Just hold on tight. And there we have it. <laughs> good as new. This is... 
Impressive handiwork. It worked! The mural is fixed! Crystal, why don't you try approaching the altar now? It's working! That leaves just two more cathedrals to visit. One in Cinder, and one in Crystallis. Although, I think we still have a little bit of unfinished business here. Uncle Wilhelm, there you are. Oh, uh, hi, Risa. What are you doing here? She just said she was looking for me. What is it, Risa? Is everything okay? Not exactly. The memorial service for Mom is about to start. But I'm worried that our dear Auntie Rollis is going to try something. Lucio and I haven't found any concrete evidence to use against her yet. But after what we all saw in the museum, I just know she had something to do with Mom's death. I see. Crispell, I knew Gladys for a long time. She was more than just a close friend. She was like a sister to me. I'd really like to attend this memorial service. And... Maybe we can help straighten out whatever's going on with them. Say no more, Maestro. We understand. And Risa, of course, will help. Great. The memorial service is being held at the Orowitz Mansion on the north side of town. I'll see you all there. This sensation. I felt it in the other cathedrals before. You are as effective as usual, Master Wilhelm. You are at... I hate that Risa. She barely even goes to Mass, but was still always Mom's favorite. I told you. I hate... I'll see you all there. Hold on, Crispell. We have important matters in the cathedral. This sensei. was a great friend to Wilhelm. We should pay our respects to her, as he said. Hmm. I recognize some of these things. Normally, when I pass by a city, all the people and things have disappeared into the flow of time. Maybe this is a strange question, Mr. K, but does that mean you don't have any friends? I have had many friends, but it is not the same with me as it is with you. Once I really know a person, that is enough for me. Then I move on. That sounds really sad. I don't feel that way. After all, humans have such short lives that there are always new people to know. Dad has been... Another Sindarian. In Tulira? What? Sorry. I was just... Slow down. Take a breath. Or pass out, I suppose. I'm so sorry. I was just... Looking at Joseph. 
What? No! Is it that obvious? Only for those with eyes. You've clearly been staring at him. Ignore him. So, you're in love with Joseph, is it? Shh! He might hear us! Doubtful. He appears to be as focused on himself as you are on him. No! That's not how Joseph is! At least, he didn't used to be. What do you mean? We were very close when we were little. He was actually the only one who treated me nicely when I got here. I just don't know what's happened. Do you think you could speak with him? Well, he was my student. I suppose I can talk to him. But that's not the Joseph I remember. I know he's changed, but deep down, he's got to be the same person. It's just that ever since his mother died, he... It's all that Oroitz's woman's fault. She even stole my mirror. Gladys? No! Miss Gladys was so supportive of him. Of us! I mean, Rollis. I see. Fear not! What nobler cause could there be than true love? We'll help you. It's our sacred duty. Sacred duty? Humoring a lovesick girl whose notable skills include staring at people for an uncomfortably long time and misplacing mirrors? I... Stop. Things never get better when you speak. I'll go talk to Joseph. Hmm? It's been a long time, Joseph. Master Wilhelm, you're back? Are you tutoring anyone else? Risa could certainly use some help. She's been worthless since Mother died. Huh. Has she also forgotten her manners? Or is that just you? Whatever. What do you want? From you? It appears you have nothing of any worth to give. Unfortunate. Then go away, fool. Who asked you to come back anyway? I can't. Stop, boy. Words won't work. However, there might be something we can find to help change his attitude. But where do we start? Saul said Joseph hasn't always been this way. Especially not with her. Perhaps we should see for ourselves. Matthias? An excellent idea. To the past I go. Joseph, stop that. Why are you treating Saul that way? That's not like you. But mother, she's a Cinderian. The twins were mocking me for being friends with her. It doesn't matter where she's from. You know that. And since when do you pay attention to what they think anyway? Ignore all of that. Do you like this girl? I do. A lot. Then stop being such a ridiculous brat and go to her. Here, give her this. A mirror? A very special mirror. If you focus, it can show you a vision of the future. It's not working. Wait. I see. We look happy together. Very happy. You see? Now, if you're quite done being so profoundly foolish, I suggest you go find that girl. He used to be a nice kid. So it seems. Still, something is missing. And where's that mirror? I want to have a look at it. That must be the mirror Sol said Rollis took. I think it's the mirror we found. Interesting. From what we've heard, the mirror was imbued with powerful magic. <sighs> In its current state, though, it's worthless. It needs to be repaired. We could ask Rohal. No good. He's got his hands full repairing the mural. Then what about his son? Rohizo, I think it was? Chris Bell's right. Maybe we should try talking to him. Then let us speak with Rohizo. Oh, you're the outsiders that Dad gave the tools. What can I do for you? Hello, Rohizo. We were wondering if you could help us fix this mirror. I'm not as skilled as Dad, but I'm pretty good with glass. Let me take a look.
Interesting. It's not like anything I've ever seen, but it's familiar. I th is this a magic mirror? Correct. Your, do you think you can repair it? I have most everything here, but I remember thinking you would need something peculiar to create a mirror like this. So, to fix it, you'd need that too. What was it? I suspect you're thinking of rainbow water. Rainbow water? Yes, exactly. I had forgotten. Wonderful. What you have forgotten is only the single most important component. This does not bode well. However, let me give you some insight. Oh no. Here's where he... Agua Prisma, or Rainbow Water, is a crucial component in the creation and repair of certain objects imbued with time magic. Because the Rainbow Water itself is infused with the magic of the mineral pools, it is uniquely suited to contain the powerful time energies required. Oh, interesting. So, can you get some of that stuff? Indeed. We already gave your father the samples he required. Getting more will be no trouble. Great! I'll get everything ready, and we can start when you bring back the sample. Don't worry. Seems like you can use- Sure. Do you want to land? Yes. This so... A sample for Rohiza, right? Yes. I think one will be enough. This should be no problem. Just let me in. That's it. This sample should do for Rohiza. My young friend. What is it? My... Look out! a mystery? Here, we're the monsters. Well, when you put it like that, 
I used small words. It helped. And try to remember, there are two sides to every battle. Neither thinks they're the bad guys. Should we not return to Rohizo? Yeah, let's go. I don't want to be the monster here. Seems like you can... Sure. Do you want to land? Yes. Have your water sample. Just in time. That's all I need to finish the repairs. Give me a second. There you go. As good as new. Impressive work. I might not be as good as my dad, but I know my way around these things. Thanks a lot, Rohiza. Now, let's go see if we can talk some sense to that Joseph guy. Again, what now? Well, as your old mentor, I wanted to give you something. A reminder of the old days. When you were less... this. What a joke. And how do you figure? Wait. Is this... What do you see? My future. I'm alone. And... she's alone. Yes. That's because currently... You're an ass, and she's a fool. Things will need to change. You'll need to stop being such an ass. This, in turn, will prevent her from being a fool for thinking you're worthwhile. Or continue being insufferable. You'll die alone. More tragically, so will she. Your choice. I... I don't. Tell her how you feel. Who cares if she's a Cinderian? What does anyone else's opinion really matter? I... Uh, you're right. After my mother died, I was lost. Rudderless. I needed someone, anyone I could find, to give me guidance. I assume you found Rallis? She appeared out of nowhere, just when I needed her most. She rambled about things, things that only Mom knew. She kept saying that we needed to distance ourselves from some people. Unworthy people. The more she talked, the more it made sense that the only people in Tulira who weren't unworthy were us, the Orowitz. We have power, riches, respect. And they all hate us. Everyone. Not everyone. Not Soul. She... still believes in me? She believes that there's still good in you. Of course she would. That's... that's so. I've been such a fool. Agreed. You are an idiot. Now go and apologize to her. I will. Thank you, everyone. I'll do better. Be better. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to beg for forgiveness. So sorry. I was an idiot. With everyone. But especially with you. You are an idiot. And you're gonna make it up to me. Even if it takes the rest of our lives. I'm so... You... Thank you all. This feels like a dream to me. I don't have much. But I want you to have this. I don't think I'll be returning to Sender anytime soon. You might need it more than me. Thank you, Sol. Also, I think this Rawless woman is up to no good. Yes! Was it the painfully obvious and abundant clues that tipped you off? 
Regardless, we need to investigate further. The twins seem to have been collaborating with her, which makes things a bit more interesting. She was always kind to everyone in town. <laughs> she even brought me medicine when I was sick. Hello, travelers. Travelers. Hmm. Is there something bothering you? What? Oh, please, don't bother me. I'm working on something extremely important. It better be pretty important if you're gonna talk to my friend like that. Sweetheart, what I'm doing will change the future of Neva Talira forever! That does sound important, I guess. It is, darling. If you insist, I'll tell you about it. I'm going to change how our floats are designed for our annual celebration of the war. That is literally the least important thing you could have named. I'm not being hyperbolic. There are no less important things than that. None. I almost respect that. I know! Isn't it amazing? This will be life-changing for everyone in the city. Even better! Since I know I've made such an impression on all you kids, why don't you help me shape that future? Why? Because doing anything else is empirically more important. I... Then you'll do it? Splendid! I ask for ribbons from all over town, but not everyone has given me their contribution yet. If you could all just scoot around to Lyra and grab those for me. But we... Time is wasting. Go on, shoot. But... Stop. Don't bother, Chris Bell. We've been outmaneuvered. Somehow. Let's just get her ribbons and be done with this. That sounds magnificent! Let's see! The store owner promised me a ribbon. So did some of the university students. Brandon has the last one. He's by the Central Monument. I'm sure it won't be any trouble for you strapping young heroes. There's even a reward in it for you. Now, scoot! It's too bad that only memories can be preserved in sapphires. I guess no one can live forever. Hello, travelers. I'm here to offer you an assortment of wonderful weapons. Meow. Hello, Elizabeth. Do you have any decorations for a parade card? Miss Drina said you had a ribbon for her. Oh! The decoration Miss Drina asked for, Meow. You're collecting ribbons for her? You could say that. Oh, then here you go, Meow.
Welcome. It's only... That would be great. At... I'm not running... Lady Glut. Hey kids, can you help me out? Excuse you, I've been looking for a ribbon. A pretty ribbon. Something really fancy. I mean, it has to be fabulous, you know? You amaze me. I mean that. What he was trying to say is, we're helping Drina decorate her float. She said you promised her a ribbon? Oh, we completely forgot about that. I'm sorry. Could you please hand this to Miss Drina for us? Thank you. She was a good... was a great friend to like being in places this crowded. They appear to be mourning someone. I have observed this behavior previously. Gladys must have been a pretty important person. It feels almost like the whole city is gathered here. She was the head of the Orowitz family. She had a kind heart that cared for everyone, without distinction. And she always put the well-being of Talira first. She was a good friend. Shh. It's starting. Family and friends. We have come together today to mourn the tragic loss of our beloved matron, Gladys Orowitz. May her soul find peace in the warm arms of the lady. Lady Gladys was an inspiration to us all. I'm sure we each have many stories of her selflessness and kindness. So today, although we mourn, we should also try to celebrate a life well lived. I ask that everyone please come together, take a moment, and share your happy memories of Lady Gladys with each other. Knowing her, I'm sure she would rather be remembered with smiles than with tears. So what do we do now? Let's go talk to Uncle Lucio. It's too bad that only memories can be preserved. I'm glad none of those I, I simply don't understand how Gladys could have been- I hate that. She was a good- She was a great- Lady Gladys- When I said I wanted to study in- She was always- I remember how she was always kind to everyone in town. She even brought me medicine when I was sick. You won't get anything from that diary! Besides, it's not like anyone will believe you. I can't believe I used to teach you kids. Master Wilhelm, I'm happy you made it. Gladys would have wanted you here. I'm glad I made it too. Risa let me know what was happening. Have the two of you made any progress on your investigation into Rollis? Some. Supposedly she was Gladys's cousin, who had been living abroad. 
Almost no one here seems to remember her, although both the twins vouched for her. I checked and I was able to find some holdings in her name, but I couldn't find anyone who actually recalls seeing her there. No one saw her kidnap Franny either. If we were to confront her now, it would just be our word against hers. And that's where the trail runs cold, I fear. I would ask Gladys about her, but one can't interrogate the dead. Maybe there's something I can do to help with that. How so? What do you mean? I think that's Lady Gladys I see in the past. I may be able to use time magic to find out what she's saying. Leave it to me, Chris Bell. Oh, is that Professor Wilhelm I see? I'm... I'm sorry about before, and I believe we haven't been properly introduced. Gladys and I exchanged so many letters over the years that I recognized you instantly. Didn't she have a phrase? A towering intellect in little boy's overalls. Ah, I'm gonna use that. I have to say, you did an excellent job educating the children. If only Gladys had focused on their manners a little bit more. Anyway, you're welcome to join us during the memorial, but try to not talk too much. It would be rude under the circumstances. I hope you will come by the house for dinner at a more appropriate time. I definitely will. It would be just Glad to see you made it, Master Wilhelm. I wouldn't miss it for anything. So glad you could make it, Wilhelm. It would have been a uh, It warms my heart to see the city prospering like this. My children seem to think I'm invincible, but I won't be here to guide them forever. I suppose there's only one thing left to do. Time to go finish that will I've been working on. I should probably tell Mr. Lucio about this. Chris Bell, did you learn anything useful? I think so, Mr. Lucio. Did you know Lady Gladys left a will? I knew she started working on one. Once. But not what became of it. My friends, we now have a special announcement. Lady Rollis wishes to address the group. <clears throat> Today is indeed a very sad day. Hey! That's the bird lady I saw, I think. But the Orowitz family must move forward. I'm sure that is what Gladys would have wanted. And to that end, we do have some business that needs to be resolved. The family needs to choose a new matriarch. Before her tragic death, my dear sister Gladys made me promise that I would take care of the family if anything happened to her. She was quite insistent that the family fortune be protected and stay within the family. So, it is with a heavy heart that I nominate myself for the role. That woman kidnapped my Franny! And she plotted with the Empress! And she, she, she came out of a magic portal and smashed the mural! And she... wait, what? Buki, are you saying you saw what happened? Yes! No? Maybe... I think? I'm sorry, dearie. My memory hasn't been the same ever since I lost my part. Maybe Rallis disassembled her to prevent her from telling the story. If we can find the missing components, I think it should be possible to repair her. Wow, okay. Talk about being reliable. Do you know where the rest of your body might be, Miss Buki? I'm not entirely sure, but I can still feel around them a bit. 
They're somewhere so, 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 so salty and dark and full of m m m m monsters. Not very pleasant. That sounds like the depths of the salt mines. Let's go check it out. Just hold tight, Gladys. We won't let this woman ruin your legacy. Sorry. Yes, I was supposed to give it to her. Yes, I dozed off here instead. Here, you give it to her. It was already enough trouble making the damn thing. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot of things. That's all of them. Let's return to Drina. Crispell? I suppose we can help Miss Drina with this. What harm could it do? Then it's settled. On to the show! That was magnificent! People couldn't take their eyes off my float. I knew it would be a hit. It's a new era in parade technology. Soon I'll be the one in charge of the whole parade. Oh, thank you. I don't know what would have happened if you all hadn't played your tiny, almost inconsequential part. Right. Anyway, you mentioned a uh, reward? Uh, of course. Here, my gift to you. Well, I'm certainly glad we were able to help Miss Drina. Riding on that float was kind of fun. What a curious experience that was. But I cannot deny it was enjoyable. That's enough reminiscing. We still have more important matters to attend to. 